By the third decade of the 18th century, George Friedrich Handel was an accomplished composer, having written various genres of music. In April 1737, he suffered a stroke or some other psychological affliction. He recovered, but soon landed in a financial, relational, and spiritual crisis. In conflict with the church, in conflict with many at the court and with other musicians, Handel thought he would collapse. Having retired from public life at the age of 56, Handel was looking for a new song, and when his friend Charles Jennings shared with him a liberato or a script from an opera that focused on the life of Christ, Handel rediscovered the glorious image of Jesus as the Messiah and Savior and decided to dedicate to him an oratorio or a large-scale musical work for orchestra and voices. Thus, Messiah, the greatest oratorio of all time, was born. During the 24 days of composing, Handel would sob or cry at the great biblical text he included, or at the glory he was seeing in Jesus the Messiah. When the new song, Messiah, was presented at the charity concert in Dublin, it freed Handel from the spiritual and multifaceted crucible he was in, and it has blessed numerous people around the globe since that time. The Word of God says in Job 23 and verse 10, But he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. It was Handel's humility before God, his search for God's salvation in the midst of his anguish, and his relentless spirit to push forward through adversity that helped him to rise again and sing a new song. That could be you today, my friends. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up icon below. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe and the notification bell. And I'll see you next time as we go into the Bible verse.